Hey, family. What's up? <laughs> we needed to make a Target run. Mm -hmm. So we're in the car now. I had to go to Target because Donald reminded me. See, he's been so nice to me lately. He's been doing the dishes and stuff at night. But it's my fault because I should be on top of things, but I just haven't been. So we had to come to Target. Look, I'm going to give y'all a haul in the car. So we had to get these cascades. Mm -hmm. So uh, this was on sale this week. You get 43 in here for $12. Had to jump on that. Okay. All right, then. Got to have that. Yeah, it's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. the Dawn Platinum Foam. We love this one, yeah. right? I got Donald a new scrub daddy. It's in the bag. Okay. I love a scrub daddy or a scrub mommy, right? And then remember, uh, well, not remember, but we got some uh, apple strudel. Yeah. Why is it so hard for me to say strudel? I always want to say strudel. That's a hard word to say. I always want to say strudel, but it's strudel. So strudel. Apple, we got some apple strudel bread. Okay. And I got this whipped, uh, what is that? Cream whipped cheese. Philadelphia cream cheese to spread, just to spread on top. I don't like, since they've introduced this whipped, I've always used it for like my bagels and stuff like that. And so that's what we did. And uh, got a can of biscuits because I'm going to do an experiment with the can of biscuits. Okay. Their biscuits are cheaper than, <laughs> oh, you're going to love it. I but love experiments. They're, um, because I, I had a taste for donuts and I saw this video yesterday of how people were making donuts with these biscuits and I'm like, okay, I'm definitely going to try it. But anyway, we're in front of Target. I got a couple more bags in the bag. But listen, we stopped at this kolache place, right? And I guess she remembered Donald because she was like, I got kolache for you. <laughs> and he was like, I don't want a kolache. She was like, you sure? Because I got kolache in the bag. And I was like... <laughs> I'm like, uh, player, are you living up to your name? <laughs> she got the kolache in the back for you. What, what are you doing out here? She don't get too many uh, big, handsome black guys in the I uh, guess that's what it is. Cause she was like, I got kolache for you. But listen, <laughs> we, this place is called, oh, it's called kolaches. <laughs> That's why this is this is this is bakery donut. They're special in kolaches and stuff. Well, where's the name? It's only it's in the front. I did a little review of it. Oh, it's it, okay. It is called bake. It's bakery, called bakery donuts. Bakery donuts. Bakery right? donuts. But she got a kolache for you, Kalea. That is so funny. <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, I went in there because new text message from Rodney Easley. I got me some chocolate. Listen, I haven't had chocolate milk forever, and this is so funny because I was just listening to an old, old tape of LeBron James. I love LeBron James. I don't like basketball. I don't. But I know certain players, right? So he was saying after a fierce workout or hard workout, he yeah. always drinks chocolate, chocolate milk. milk. That's right. Now, I ain't getting ready to work out, but I'm going to drink this chocolate milk because <laughs> ever since he said it, I want it. And yeah, yeah. so I'm going to have chocolate milk. Chocolate milk got so many calories in chocolate it. Chocolate milk is delicious. It is, but I just want to taste it. And so, Donald, did you eat your donut up already? I had a little bite. Okay, because we got, I just got, when I get a donut, I just get a plain donut. You get the plain, the plain donut. She always say the plain. I'm not going to touch it because I need to wash my hands. Mm -hmm. But I got just a little plain glazed good, donut. Good. And uh, I'm going to taste this chocolate milk because it's been calling my name every so, so I get the term influencer now. Like, I get it. He influenced me there you to go. get this chocolate milk. And I just got to have it. And I hope it's good. Yeah, it's not. Did you shake it up? Mm hmm It ain't doing what it need to do. I guess I gotta go get me a Starbucks drink because this was the pits. Uh uh. Uh uh. Give my opinion. You can have that. My taste buds are all over the place. It's good? Yes. It is not. This is just as good as, as middle school chocolate milk. Well, there you have it. He liked it. Elementary that. school so chocolate milk. So, we, what we got? We got the chocolate milk and three donuts. Yes. And it was $6.60. Yes. 
But I thought she said 666. I was like, oh, no, ma'am. I was like, no, ma'am. We're going to have to add some. I'm going to take some away. And she was like, what? I said, did you say 66 and 6? And she was like, no, 660. And we just bust out laughing because I'm like, no, ma'am. You're going to have to add something to it or take some away because we ain't buying nothing that costs 66 six and the 6. You hear me? That's like saying Beetlejuice three times. I'm not doing it. So I'm like, I'm scared to even say it together. That's why I put the word and, and in the middle of it. Because I'm like, <laughs> I was noticing that. I can't do it. I'm t I don't know what it is. But anyway, fam, we're going to scurry on back to the house. So you like the don't you like the chocolate? Yes. I'm gonna tell you what it is. I'm honestly, when I have my iced coffee, it almost tastes like chocolate milk, but better. And I think that's what because it, it makes chocolate milk now not taste really good to me. Yeah. I feel like it's missing something. In my head, I was is. thinking about elementary school chocolate milk. That's what I was hoping for, and I got it. So I guess yeah. it's just what your mindset is. But it tastes like elementary school chocolate. Can milk. Can I see what kind of donut you got? What is that? An apple something? It's a cinnamon um, twirl or oh, one of those things, fam. It's a little bit on the stale side, though. Oh, well, it is. It's 12 o'clock. Yeah. On a Sunday. Yeah. And it made donuts are early in the morning, so you come in. So at all her donuts are half off right now. And so this family is walking out with a bag of old donuts. Oh. Yeah, he got mm -hmm. a bag of donuts. I'm so nosy. Come on, let's go. All right, fam, we'll see you back at the house. All right. You wonder where DJ is? He in the back. He just in the back, chilling out, relaxing, cool and all. Look at him. Hey, say hey to the fam, DJ. DJ, yeah. come Y'all hear his tail wagging? Look at him. <laughs> He's all right with me. All right, fam, see you at the house. Good morning, family. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Peggy. Welcome to a new vlog. Listen, I can't find my head wraps. So I had to put my old scarf on because your girl getting ready to do her walk this morning. Trying to uh, get me a good old four, maybe five mile walk in. Starting the week off right. Look at my honey bun. He at the door. He like, you need to hurry up. You need to hurry up. So him and the dog... They ready to go, so we're gonna go on and knock these four miles out. It'll probably take me about an hour. What do you think? About an hour? A little more. Hour and ten minutes. Yeah. I did it yesterday. In about an hour and fifteen minutes, I did my five miles. Yeah. That wasn't great, but it was good because it was all walking. Like, hopefully, one day I'll learn how to run again. But these old knees, baby, they just say, "Walk, baby. Just walk. Take your time. You'll get there." That's what my knees tell me every time I get to the park. But anyway, this Texas weather is what? Amazing. Yeah. It's cold outside. Like, you need an actual jacket, like a blue jean jacket, you know. Not a windbreaker, but a jacket jacket. So, it's been pretty cool. What was it this morning when you took poo-poo out? 62. 62. Y'all lied to me, people. Y'all lied to me. Y'all told me Texas didn't get cold to November. Mm -hmm. You had your girl shook it. Because I was like, how is that even possible? But I'm, I'm sure it happened before. But anyway, we are enjoying this weather. So Donald is going to drop me. <laughs> Donald's going to take me to the park. But they're not walking today because my honey bunny is coming down with something. Yeah. So I'll see y'all. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call y'all right back. Good morning, family. I'm back. Not good morning, but pick up y'all. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. So... After we did their walk, I was a little disappointed because I thought I had more steps than I had. I didn't do my full four miles today. I only did like 3.8. And I was telling Donald, I'm like, I need to go back so I could finish. But my legs was like, yeah, you finished. So we're finished. <laughs> so anyway, we stopped at Kroger. Y'all. Food prices are ridiculous. I told Donald, we just gonna have to start eating every other day because this is ridiculous. Okay, just ridiculous. But um, y'all know I, I am a bacon lover. I, I, H-E-B has that uh, bacon that I love, that turkey bacon that I love. But I didn't feel like going to H-E-B. It was too far of a drive, so we just went to uh, 
Kroger, and they had this pound and a half of bacon for six dollars. It was regular ten, so that was good. But uh, I got to get back to my eating plan. My eating plan is a high protein. It's basically a high protein diet, which includes like so. My first week, I have to have like grilled chicken breast and ground turkey and then you got to have the brown rice now y'all know what i used to always think that i would not like brown rice but i love this brown rice because i'm gonna tell you what i do sometime when i'm cheating i'll make me some fried rice with this <laughs> i will i'll make me some fried rice with this i'll get my um avocado oil and fry it up real good I'm, I'm sorry but i mean if i'm gonna stay on it i gotta do something it works it works for me let me say that and I'll put some of my egg whites in there and my frozen peas and onions and this brown rice with some grilled chicken. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So that's what I'll do sometime when I'm trying to trick the system because the diet is, I ain't gonna even call it a diet. It's an eating plan because the guy's thing is he's trying to teach you how to eat better is what he's trying to do. And he really did. So. Uh, I'm just going back to eating a little bit more healthy, but I'm going to always walk and get my exercise in. So between the two, I should reach my goal in seven months, y'all. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race, but I'm just going to keep doing it. I, like I said, I ain't going to talk y'all head off about it, but I'm just showing y'all the things that I had to buy today. So, of course, I got my ground turkey. And you have to eat a salad every day, like a cup of salad. You could put that in his on his eating plan. You could put anything in your salad except cheese. I'm like, are you serious? He was like, yeah, you could put meat, whatever, whatever. Because I'm eating like four. You're supposed to eat five meals a day, but that's the way he has it. It's too much to eat in a day to try to space them out. Like you'd have to get up at seven in the morning to eat because he wants you to do like 30 minutes of exercise in the morning but then that last week he wants you to pull it in so you have to exercise twice a week so i've done the diet well not the diet but i've done the program twice i've only stuck to it once and it really does work again if y'all are interested his name is terry starks on facebook and I think he on Instagram too, Terry Starks. He used to be a bodybuilder or something like that. And he came up with this program and people are just dropping, dropping weight. It, it, what did I, I, I don't want to quote you a price because the first time he quoted me a price, it was one price. And then about a year or two later, when I was serious about getting it, it went up some. So I don't want to quote a price, but I could give you, like it's in the hundreds, you know, like $100. It's not more than $200. So I could tell you that much. But it's a five-week program. And the food is it's pretty decent, but you just have to stick to it. And it's hard because, like, all the fun things are taken out. You don't get any treats. You do get an apple. <laughs> But anyway, he he doesn't want you to have canned vegetables, so I have to have like um, sweet peas. You can have sweet peas, but they have to be frozen. But you can't buy anything out of the can and stuff like that. So, you know, of course, no bread, no white rice, stuff like that. But anyway, the diet does work if you stick to it. But the problem is, after it's over, can you stick to the eating plan? And it's really hard to do. So what I've done today is I've altered the plan to what I like from it. And then I'll just do more exercising, you know, because he wants you to do at least 30 minutes a day. Well, I've already doubled that. So I do at least an hour of walking every day. But I don't, I don't walk every day. I walk like, I walk three days. This is something new I'm starting. So I walk three days and then I'm off a day and then I'll walk three more days. And then the days that I don't feel like going out walking, I'll go to the gym and I'll do like the 12, 3.30. And that works too. But when you have bad knees, that 12, 3.30, you know, I should have just taken better care of my body. But now that I know better, I'm going to do better. But 
uh, I was showing down. I was like, when I reach my goal, because I'm not going to stop until I reach my goal. So I showed him this haircut that I want to get. And he was like, yeah, I don't know about that. But I told him, like, right now my hair is so thick. But I had shaved. I got mad one day, y'all, and shaved my hair. So I went completely bald, I want to say, in March. I just shaved my head. And so now the hair is back and it's super thick. But I'm, I'm over here looking like Florida Evans with a little short afro. So I'm going to let it grow out a little bit more. And then the haircut that I want, I'm going to show you guys. It's between these two haircuts that I want to start rocking in the summertime because i got to let the braids and the weaves go because I'm just, I like wearing my hair out. Because Donald like when I wear my hair out, for, believe it or not. But I just don't like it right now because it's in the in-between stages and I want to be ready for it. You know what I'm saying? I want to just make a presentation. But anyway, yeah, I had to go to the grocery store this morning. I ran straight in and got in the shower because I was like, if I could smell me, I know y'all smell me. So yeah, I had, to, uh, <laughs> I had to hop right in the shower and Donald and his ginger ale, 12 pack of ginger ale, Canada, Canada Dry. Ah, this, 12 pack, $8.99. Well, if you go to Sam's Club, you can get 24 for $9.99. So we just didn't feel like making that drive today. So I'm gonna get over here and make me breakfast real quick. And see, that's why I say I can't go by this guy's plan because it's already 11.32. By now, I should have eaten two of my five meals for the day because you want to kind of spread them out. And so that's my problem because I don't like to eat early. Like, I don't, but there's no way I can eat five meals a day, so I'll skip something every day. But I, I called him one day because he when you buy his program, like you could type him and he texts you back immediately. And I was like, can I make me some lemonade? And he was like, Peggy, can you stick to the program? Like he done got so used to me, he's yelling at me now. He's like, Peggy, it ain't gonna work if you don't stick to the program. And I'm like, but can I? He was like, oh my God, I'm gonna block you. Like, <laughs> that's sad. Everybody I meet, they feel comfortable in telling me to get right. So I'm gonna get right. And I'm gonna do the prep plan. I'm gonna do it right. I am. But anyway, fam, let me put this food away and I'm going to start cooking for the week. That's what I like to do on Mondays. I like to cook for at least four days. And then on Thursday, I'll cook for the next four days. And, you know, and just keep repeating because I don't I don't like to cook this stuff every day. It's, it's just too much work. What you doing, player? Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. Come say hey to, oh, you already said hey to the family earlier. Did I? Before we went out for our walk. Oh, hey. I told Donald, I was like, when I get fine, <laughs> he gonna be all up on me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Can you get any finer, baby? Is that even, is that even, is, is that even possible? possible? That's okay, that's all right. When I get fine, fine, he gonna be all up on me, watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already uh, coaching him. I'm like, my birthday is coming up, October 20. I want all the things. I want all the, th I want surprises. Like, I, I just want everything. October 20, he got, oh, one of our family members sent me a, um, Starbucks. Star who was it? Uh, I don't know her name. I, I can put it at the bottom for you. We're going to put it at the bottom, but. Sis, thank you, because your girl going to get her that's some right. Starbucks. You get you a little bit of Starbucks. That's right. See, y'all be coming through for me, but that's okay. When I get super fine, he going to be all up on me. He ain't going to know what to do. Because I'm just going to come in the room dancing. I'm going to be like, hey. I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna, but I will know what to do, though. That's how we look at DJ. When he be trying to get food from us, we just be like, mm. I have to do that to Donald sometime. DJ be sneaking on the sofa, but I gotta watch him. Yeah, he's been trying to get my little pumpkin pillows. Mm -hmm. And when me and Donald in here laughing and talking, 
<laughs> he, he a sneak. I said, Donald, look at you, Donald. Well, he's looking at look us at the whole Donald. time to make sure we're not looking at him. So yeah. he look up and soon as he see us looking at him, he'll stop moving. I mean, he got up on the couch and had his paw. He was, he was, he was doing the mannequin challenge. <laughs> I'm like, I see you, DJ, I see you. Did he get that? Then he'll drop it and get down and run. And then you look at him and he'll turn his head. Anyway, y'all, my Carter, my... He's not my youngest grandbaby. He's next to the youngest grandbaby. Hey, fam, I'm going to go back and play a little bit of chess. What's going on, Blair? Let Peggy Blair? tell y'all the story, but it's hard. It's, it's got a combination of heartwarming and and it's just uh, suspense and intrigue. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, DJ. Come on, buddy. Y'all going to see him looking like a raccoon pretty soon, I promise you. But listen, my Carter, oh, he got hurt at school. I don't know how it happened. And I'm pretty upset about it. But they sent me a picture of him at the doctor's office. And he was looking a little sad, but you could tell he wanted to get up, jump, and run around, right? And then the next picture is, is this picture right here. He got his little arm broken. You know, they live out in the country, in Iowa. And, uh, the story keeps changing every time I hear it. All I know is it was at school. I don't know if they were riding on the golf cart and he fell off the golf cart or so something to that effect happened, but I know the teacher got fired, however it went, because we've heard so many different stories. And I'm like, I don't think her being fired is good enough because his arm is broken. The grandma and me, your arm need to be broke too because it was a careless mistake that did not need to happen for my baby to have a broke arm. And I'm like, this is the only, like, I want to meet her. Is When stuff like that happens to my grandbabies, I, I, I just, I lose it. I lose it because we, when, when you work with children, you have to be a special individual because everybody is not equipped to work with children. Let me tell you, I worked with children for maybe four years, four or five years. So let me put these things in the freezer. So with the military, uh, <clears throat> they, they put provide opportunities for the wives to have a job or whatever else, like whatever you want to do. And they've made it so easy, like, if you have children, you can watch other children in your home and make money, right? And it was kind of like starting your own business. It was a footstep into opening your own business. It was a, a child care program. I can't even remember what they call it right now, but I did it. When Donald deployed, I wanted to be near the house. I, I don't know, I just didn't want to work, work away from the home. Plus I didn't have children at the, at the time. Like my daughter was 16, so she was the youngest one when I did the daycare, right? And I had about six kids in my home and it was really nice because what they did was they gave us everything we needed to get started, right? They even paid for our licenses, for our LLC, like they paid for everything to get us started. And I think mine was called Tiny Tot something. It, that's sad, I can't remember what my daycare was called, but I had one of the homes that had a waiting list because people wanted to get in it. I didn't have any children, so it was not any preferential treatment or anything like that. And I, I had kids between three and five. Now, I like that age group because you could get out and take them places, you know, because me and my kids, we was gone, baby. We get in the car, we be gone all day. So uh, <clears throat> I liked doing the program, but I had to stop because at some point the children had just gotten, they were different. I was like, what, did, what happened? And then you can't talk to the parents. And see, the thing is, you could accept or deny a kid. And when I would deny a kid, they would be angry. And I'm like, you would, should be happy that I'm denying because I'm telling you, I can't handle the personality of your child. You know, like, so, like one lady we had, 
she was good with like uh, autistic children and children with disabilities and stuff like that. Like she was good with it. She was very patient and she helped those kids. Like you have to know your strength and weaknesses when it comes with children. And I know that I couldn't deal with <clears throat> crying constantly all day because I would have quit. I just, I had gotten older at that point. When I opened my day card, I think I was like, what, 45? I was 45. And there was one little boy. I had to watch him because one lady's center got closed down because she spanked the child. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to be careful with these kids. So she spanked the child and they had to immediately uh, put the children in a home. And so they asked me, they was like, Peggy, you're going to have to keep him for a week. And I'm like, I'm telling you, I can't do it. I said, I'm going to try my best. I said, but if it gets really bad, I'm going to close my doors because I was like, I can't, I can't do it. I can't. And so, you know, they would come by and check. It worked out because he wasn't as bad as people were saying that he was. But when his mom would drop him off, he would immediately hit the floor and just scream. And he screamed the whole time he was there. Like, I, we would go outside to play and he would stand in the corner. And as much as I tried to engage with him or try to get the other people to engage with him, he just cried and he cried and he cried. And I was just like, I don't, I, I can't help him. But, you know, you can't force that on people. So what I'm sim simply saying is it was just, it was too much for me. I lasted the week. Uh, I couldn't get him to eat lunch or anything. So I was telling the mom, I was like, feed him really, really good in the morning before you drop him off. I was like, please just feed him. I was like, if he like cereal, give him two or three bowls because he's not going to eat during the day. And I was like, give him as much as you can. And so he would not, he would be with me from, I think he came at like nine in the morning and he would leave at like four. And he would not eat or drink anything from nine to four. He just wouldn't do it. And it's so funny that when I wasn't looking at him, he wouldn't cry. And <laughs> he would walk in front of me because I tried to turn my back to him so he wouldn't cry. He would walk in front of me. As soon as I made the eye contact, he would drop on the floor and cry. And I'm like, now nah, cut it out. You know, ain't nothing wrong with you. But I, I, I just couldn't. So for a whole week, could not get him to do anything. And I, you know, I prided myself because I did have a waiting list. People wanted to get in my center because, you know, a lot of people kept the kids inside and didn't want to do nothing with them. Baby, on Fridays, we had parades. I went to the dollar store. I went to the dollar store and got some cheerleading outfits. We had pom-poms and stuff. And on Fridays at 2 o'clock, it was funny. We was living on a military base. I think it was Fort Gordon. And we would do our parade every Friday. And people would stand outside and watch my foolishness. <laughs> we would be walking up and down the street just cheering and all kind of stuff. Because my deal was if you get them tired out and you feed them, they're going to have a good nap time. And then Peggy can get her, you know, time to decompress. And then when it was time to wake them up, most of the parents was picking them up. So I liked that, but I don't know why. Y'all, I always run off in a different direction. But anyway, I'm just saying you have to be a special person to work with children. If you don't have the patience of a saint, you cannot work with children. I will not dare put my hand on somebody's kid. I'm just not doing it. So if you got to go, you got to go. And that's what I did. I'm like, but y'all should be thankful that I'm telling you I can't. It wasn't about the money. Well, it was, but it wasn't because I could have made some really good money watching some kids, but then my life would have been pure heck, and I'm not doing that. I, I, the little kids I had, I loved them, and we rocked out for about a year and a half, and then some Some of the families started PCSing, and, and they started putting, like, I, I requested children ages three and up, and here you come trying to bring me a baby. Now, I love babies. Don't get me wrong. But when I'm working, I can't do a baby because they're on a feeding schedule. I mean, it, it, it just it was a lot of work behind it. But anyway, I just want to meet the lady who hurt my grandbaby because for her to lose her job, she had to do something, something. And all I could do is picture him with that little cast on his arm. But in, in the same breath, he's a very... Uh, He's strong, like he's a strong little boy. And 
he likes to run and he's like nothing hurts him. He can run into this refrigerator and the first thing he going to say is, I'm okay, I'm okay. Like he'll run into the refrigerator and do that. I've seen him do it. <laughs> I've seen him do it. So I, I don't know, but it was some neglect on her part. And I told my son, like, I, I want to know what happened, but then I don't want to know what happened. You know what I'm saying? But he's fine now. And, uh, of course, we took him out of that school. So we found another school that was really good. Look, like I had part in it, but he goes to another school. It costs a little more. And I was like, look, if we have to chip in and help you pay for daycare, I'm going to help you pay for daycare because kids have to be safe. And that's what I'm saying. That tears at my heartstrings. And I'm like, you know what I should do? I should just move back home and get all of my grandbabies and keep them. Because my mother used to keep our children, you know, when we didn't have to worry about a daycare. Like, well, now, I didn't want her to sit around the house watching my kids all the time. So when I was in between sitters, I would have my mother watch my kids. And she would come over and watch. She would spend the night. I mean, my mother was bombed because she would cook dinner. Like, by the time I got off work, the kids had been fed. And all I have to do is relax. So they just don't make grandmas like that no more because half these grandmas don't want to do that. But with me, I would do it with my grandkids. That's why when I go to St. Louis in the summer, I stay for a month or two. I get my grandkids and I keep them. I want them to know that I love them and I want to be with them. And see, she done went all the way around the corner talking about car. But anyway, let me try to get me some breakfast. Well, breakfast is over now. It's, uh, it's lunchtime. Donald, did you eat? Yeah. You don't want anything? What you making? I, I think I'm just going to make some bacon and eggs. You want some bacon and eggs, player? Yes. No, you don't. That one don't even eat bacon. Hey, because how do you how do you not like bacon? I like I like bacon enough. It's just I like the bacon flavor more than the actual bacon itself. The actual bacon itself is like uh, remind me of fat back. I had too much fat back growing up. Fat so. back? Well, why would you eat fat back? That's what my mom and dad made. They made fat back with grits and eggs. You ate fat back? Fat back. Fat back. You, you never heard of fat bag? No, I've heard of it. <laughs> See, I've never fried it and eaten fat bag. Ain't no meat on fat bag. What do you do with fat bag if you don't uh, fry you it? You season your greens with it and stuff like that. You know, like your beans or oh. your greens. My mom and dad made thin sliced fat bag with their grits and, and eggs oh, and stuff. I never. Not the, now, y'all will have to fill me in on that because I'm lost. <laughs> Thin maybe, slice maybe. fat bag. You never seen a thin slice? It's it's sliced like bacon. It's just none of the meat part. It's all the fat part. And y'all ate that? They did. Oh I, I ate it a couple times. I'm just not a fan. And so I guess it kind of ruined my my desire for bacon itself. But bacon got meat. Yes, yeah, so I, I I eat bacon. But it's just that I'm, I, I like the bacon flavor listen, more than actual bacon Y'all going to have to help me out with that one. Because I, I ain't never heard of it. You never heard of such thing? Never heard of such thing. You over there eating fat back? I ate like it twice. My mom and dad ate it all the time. It's pro it probably was good. Donald's mom was a really good cook. Yeah. My my uh my grand my great grandmother on my mother's side, she mm -hmm. ate fat back every morning and she lived to be one on one. Oh. She ate fat back? I ate fat back. I ain't gonna say every morning, but Every morning that I knew. Well, of. I mean, yeah, because, yeah, uh, they had to eat what they had. They had to eat know. what they had. But fat back, but I guess that's just like me eating a chitlin, because I'm going to get me a chitlin. Exactly. Now. See, I want to eat a chitlin, man. That's exactly right. But if you're making some bacon, I will have some in a bowl. Why your dog looking like that? Because he, he heard bacon and he heard. You want to eat? Look at him. He's like, <laughs> I wish we could show y'all him right now. He peeking through the door. He like, ooh, what, did I have food? DJ is crazy, y'all, but he has a lot of fun. All right, so let me start boiling my rice. And can you wait a minute to eat? Or are you hungry? Oh, hungry? I, I'm good. I can wait to eat. Can you? Yeah. Okay. All right, player. All right, fam, I'm going to call y'all back. Mm -hmm.
green tea with honey. Okay. Hot honey? But can you taste it? Can I taste it? Yeah, the, the heat. Yes, you can you taste it. You feel in the back of your throat? Yes. That's working. I ain't no good. So because I can feel it, that means it's working. <laughs> it's good though, right? Let's it's get some California life. Reapers to, 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 to cure the cold. See, but, but he went back for more. So you know he likes it. Mm -mm. Don't like it. He liked it. <laughs> I just wanted y'all to see about the uh, extra hot uh, honey. I wouldn't buy it again, but uh, I'm going to use this up. I like it. All right, fam, I'll call you back.